I want us now to examine the different types of fruits. Something to note, fruits have been classified into two. We have dry fruits and succulent fruits. We are going to start our discussion with succulent fruits. When we say succulent, it means that they have a fleshy pericarp. It means that they contain juice. The following are examples of succulent fruits. We have an avocado and we can see that the pericarp is fleshy. We have an orange and we, it also has a fleshy pericarp. We also have a banana. It also contains a fleshy pericarp. Then we have capsicum. It has a loculus that we can see. However, the pericarp is also fleshy. The first category of succulent fruits are berry. A berry has a succulent pericarp. That is, the epicarp, mesocarp, and endocarp are juicy. The berries usually have many seeds that are embedded in the endocarp. Examples include tomato, cocoa, bananas, oranges, watermelons, and lemon. An example we have here is an orange. This orange has an endocarp that have developed to form succulent structures which we can easily squeeze to get juice. The diagram illustrates the internal structures of an orange. A transverse section of an orange shows an exocarp the exocarp is the outer part. Then the mesocarp is this white part. Then that is followed by the endocarp, which is the juicy part. In some cases, we have some seeds like these ones, which are found at the center. It also contained succulent hairs that are attached to the endocarp. The second category of succulent fruits are droop. The droop has a thin epicarp. The mesocarp is fleshy or fibrous and the endocarp is hard and stony. The endocarp encloses the seeds, for example, in a mango, in an avocado, a coconut, or plum. This illustrates for us an example of a droop. The epicarp is very thin. The mesocarp is fleshy. However, the endocarp is made up of a stony structure which, if broken into, will reveal the seed.